targeted treatment with radiofrequency ablation for lingual tonsil. Suvi Renkonen, Antiamakati, Leaf Back. Abstract. Objectives. Benign enlargement of the lingual tonsils due to various causes may cause symptoms that warrant treatment. Conventional lingual tonsillectomy remains a challenging procedure, and there is no established standard procedure. We aim to review the patients receiving different methods of lingual tonsil surgery for various indications at our institute. Methods Retrospective clinical data on all patients with an ablative operation of the tongue base during the eight-year period between 2007 and 2014 at the Helsinki University Hospital, Helsinki, Finland, were reviewed. The larger cohort comprised 35 patients, of whom 26 were men, 74%. Ten patients had undergone solely lingual tonsil radiofrequency ablation, ultrafa. The minimum follow-up time for all patients was two years. Results Of the ten patients, five patients with ultrafa had been operated on because of symptomatic lingual tonsil hypertrophy and five because of periodic fever associated with possible lingual tonsil involvement. In two of the five patients with periodic fever, the fever cycles ended after the operation. Of the five patients, Three patients with symptomatic lingual tonsil hypertrophy have been non-symptomatic after one to three treatment sessions. The last two patients continue to have persistent symptoms. There were no major complications. Conclusions Development of new approaches for the management of various lingual tonsil conditions is warranted. Lingual tonsil volume reduction by ultrafa seems to be a treatment alternative with low morbidity but with limited curative effect only. Keywords hypertrophy, lingual tonsil, management, periodic fever, radiofrequency ablation.